Hey all, Rach Cox here. Um, sorry I haven't been around for a week or so. I, um, I did a healing on someone last week and it really floored me. It doesn't happen that often, but sometimes um, huge amounts of energy and big downloads come through. And um, for five hours after, I was just floored. I went across the road to the park to try and ground myself I just lay on a park bench um, under this beautiful tree and the energy was just, it would not stop. It was just pumping through me. And I was in bed by 7.30 and I've really been out of whack for, uh, since, for seven days since then. So I'm just um, trusting the process and allowing that to just um, settle in my being. It's quite an extraordinary feeling. And, and as I say, it's, it's really only the second time it's happened. Um, and yeah it's phenomenal it just feels like like your whole crown opens and all this beautiful energy comes through and it just is the most extraordinary feeling <laughs> so i'm sorry i just want to check in and see how everyone's going um i know personally i've had lots of challenges over the last week and i've really um had to remind myself of what i'm actually teaching others so that I can come back to center and also um, be present in the moment, in the day, because, you know, if you, if you let your mind wander to things that have happened in the past or you find yourself worrying about the future, that's what we do. If we think about the future, we sort of worry and um, we think about the past and we might get upset or angry or whatever. It's... You've got to bring yourself back to the now where everything's safe and everything's fine. Um, right now is all that matters. That's the only moment. So this little video, it's going to be called a timely reminder because during the week um, someone reached out to me and it was really beautiful and exactly what I needed. Um, just to remind myself of what I'm going through it's huge um, and it was just beautiful, you know, just reminding me that Kundalini is a purification process to surrender to the metamorphosis I think I need. Um, and it was just, it was just perfect because sometimes we forget, <laughs> sometimes we forget and get all up in our head. He also said, you know, more meditation and being and less thinking, which is, is so true. You know, it's, um, I know that I've, I've spoken to you about trusting the process and it sort of came up three times really strongly last week um, or in the last couple of weeks. Uh, first, it was with my Kundalini coach and it didn't go so well, that session. And I mean, it did in the end, we sorted it out. But at the beginning, it was really freaky and I was like, oh my God. And it sort of just sort of came to the end of the line for the two of us for the minute. And, you know, we couldn't work out why. I'd, I'd just done that big activation and it threw her a bit. And so usually I would absolutely be thrown into a panic and I would probably reach out to my teacher, Jerome, and go, what the fuck have I done? I knew it was a big process, but I didn't know it was gonna be like that big. Um, but I actually sort of sat in it, just trusted myself um, and what I've chosen to do energy wise. And really at the end of, of all the panic and confusion was, oh, I'm getting the guidance that I, I can't interfere. I have to let, the process isn't complete. So if I jump in and do something now energetically, it won't, it won't you know, integrate properly. So thankfully we got to that point um, and it was a real moment of actually, I've got to trust myself. I've got to trust the process. I've got to be cool. Just take a deep breath. Uh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I do. Um, so there was that. Um, and then, yeah, the whole Kundalini process, the that it is a purification process, so it actually gets rid of all that no longer serves you, which can be incredibly daunting and painful and not easy. 
another thing he said when he texted was, you know it don't come easy. Um, and it has been a really hard process. Um, but also, you know, I've spent the week painting. I finished my painting. It's online now. Um, and reconnecting with that part of myself has been so rewarding because I just forgot how much I love doing it. And, you know, just put on your music and just paint. So I've decided that I'm going to have a little exhibition, which is fun. So I'll get on to, um, I know what I'm going to paint now. Uh, so I'll have that, you know, I don't know how long that will take. Who knows? In COVID, it could be finished next week. Um, but that's been beautiful. Um, and then my other one was trusting the process with with another healer that I see here in Melbourne, Trina Lucas. And it's funny, I kind of, I saw her right at the beginning of my process in 2013. And um, she's quite, I find her very strong. And I've got like healers all around the world. And I, I just know when you need a particular one because each healer does something different. And if, if, you, if you've worked with me, you'll know how that changes and affects you. Um, and then if you work with someone else, it'll change and affect you in a different way. So we all have diff different ways of healing and, and different things will happen um, when you have one. But this particular girl pops into my mind, you know, I, I always know when I'm ready for her and there's always a huge transformation when I see her. So I do have to buckle up a bit because I think, uh oh, and, and for some reason, it's just like a force within me that cannot stop. It's like, I know these town moments, I've had so many of them, I don't actually really want any more, but it's like, I can't stop. It's like, you can see sort of, I mean, I know there's no finish line, it's a journey, but for this part of the process, it's like, I just know I need to see her in order to clear some stuff, or stabilize some stuff, clear some stuff, integrate some stuff, I don't know what, what it is, but I know I need to see her, but I texted her and then she didn't get back for a couple of days. So I was panicking <laughs> and then um, she finally got back and it was so cute and she said, oh, your guide's waving to me um, as I'm typing this to you. So I can't see you till um, November 14th. <laughs> I thought, what? It's September. And then I remember, like, I was like, I, can't, I actually don't think I can wait till then. But then I remember the first time I saw her and I think I reached out to her in the January. I think we have one session in the January, that's right, in Melbourne. And then... She said, yes, you need 10 healings and I can't see you, I can't start the first one till April. <laughs> what the hell? That's like so many months away, I just don't understand. But in between that time, in that January and that April, so much happened, I actually can't tell you. So it's like, I get it, like something's happening. You know, that Kundalini lady couldn't do it. She can't do it. It's part of the process. I have to trust the process. I have to trust the universe. You know, and I know that the integration will come or, or she can't interrupt the process or there's something that means that I can't see her. Um, but, you know, it's, it's all those reminders that to go through life with awareness is what I'm trying to teach you so that we don't get thrown off and we don't go you know but I need to see you now it's like take a breath that's what the universe has said it's not going to be till November 14th so be it it is what it is can't do anything about it and there's a reason for it you know divine timing all that kind of thing don't know if I've talked to you about that either um, but it's just I just wanted to remind you sort of to come back to center to to really be present in the moment um, and not let the things around you really freak you out. Um, that's what all this is about. And it's another thing that the guy said in this text, which was beautiful, was try to rest in gratitude for not only the opportunity to be, but to have had even an inkling of awakening, which was so beautiful. And what is the most precious thing about him reaching out was he actually understands exactly what I'm going through and not many people do. So it's actually nice to have someone that can actually go, you got this, remember what you're going through. I know what you're going through um, and I can see what you're going through and I can see the struggle at times, you know, it's not easy. And even if you're not going through an awakening, just getting through life is, is uh, sometimes a struggle. So, you know, 
gratitude is resting in gratitude. What a beautiful thing as well. And to, to come back to being in the present, that's a beautiful thing to do, um, a beautiful practice to get into. You can either do it in the morning, as soon as you wake up, um, or at night, I like to do it. And it's I just call in all my guides and angels and everyone and just really be grateful for everything. You know, if you bring yourself back, I've got a home, got a roof over my head. I know I might be locked in it for, you know, 23 hours of the day, but at least I've got one, you know, and I've got running water and I've got food and I've, you know, got my kids and, you know, I'm safe and, you know, it's beautiful weather outside and there are flowers on the trees. There's, you know, there's so much to be thankful for. There's people that look out for me and, and have got my back and, and that's, that's all the thing. If you think of everything in your day to be grateful for, it's, it's incredible. And then you can, you actually automatically shift the energy then to thinking, oh, I am so grateful. I am so lucky. I've got all these things. Um, so I just wanted to check in quickly, let you know that I'm okay. Um, and just to remember that it is a journey and to become aware of it is a great thing because it will, when you learn all the tip, the tips and tricks and you put them into practice, you'll actually get through it so much more peacefully, which is obviously what I'm all about, <laughs> creating peace in your life. Um, I did start the day this morning, actually it was so beautiful. Um, I woke up <laughs> quite early for me, about quarter to eight, um, and I did a healing for someone in Singapore, so it was 8 a.m. my time and, and 6 a.m. her time. So she was just asleep, which was beautiful, and I got to start my day in just the most beautiful, connected way, and it was just such a gorgeous way to start the day. I thought, I must do this every day, like giving someone a beautiful healing, because I get a healing too, and I benefit. So, And I'm always, I always feel so, like on such a high afterwards, because it's, it's just such a, a beautiful feeling. Um, so that was a pleasure to do this morning, and then I went on a run, and then had a coffee, and you know, bumped into a friend and chatted to her. And so, you know, by the time I came back home, it was about 11.30 and it was gorgeous. Um, so again, doesn't matter where you are in the world, um, do reach out if you'd like a healing. It's, it's a beautiful process um, and all the links will be below. So I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're trusting the process, remembering that you've got this and remember to rest in gratitude. Um, be really thankful. Uh, so sending lots of love. Hopefully I won't leave it too long between next videos. See you.